up guys welcome back to the channel thank you for joining me as always hope you're all doing great today i am finally fixing the 335i <laughs> i know a lot of you joined my channel originally because of the 335i and this was my first real car in my name first official purchase and i drove this car for about four years 40,000 miles and right at 200,000, I blew the motor on it. <laughs> so this car has actually been sitting here for about a year and a half, just deteriorating, unfortunately, and it kills me. I plan to fix it a lot sooner than that, but you know how life goes, so here it sits. But that's all changing because I finally bought a replacement motor for the car within the next couple months, this car is gonna be getting into a shop and we're gonna be doing a whole engine swap and I'm gonna be filming the whole process. So it's gonna be great content for you guys. And you know, anyone who originally joined the channel because of the E90 content, finally I'm coming back with the E90 content. So really excited about that. You know, I always felt really bad that I was kind of neglecting all my E90 people that originally joined my channel and supported me for this car. To a lot of people's disbelief, I never actually sold the car. It sat here for a while. Actually, it sat about 100 feet that way. And just recently, my neighborhood repainted all the lines for the parking spaces and I had to move my car here. I should have filmed it because I pushed the car myself and that was a whole process. Um, popping the, the shift lever and putting the car in neutral even though it has a dead battery because this car is dead as dead no life in the battery not a chance and the motor doesn't even run so only chance of this car rolling is to push it but to my surprise there was no bald spots in the tires so these continentals held up extremely well after about a year and a half there was no flat spots and it rolls just fine so really glad to uh, learn that that at least the car rolls <laughs> so anyway I didn't have much of a plan for today's video I just really wanted to get back to posting on a regular schedule and give you guys the good news that this car is finally coming back and people might say I'm crazy because I already have a b58 powered car but I don't think my f32 replaces this car in any way shape or form yeah it's faster but this car has a totally different feel. Just like people would say about the old E46 and E36 generations and you know the older BMWs, how they handle well. That's how I feel about this car. And even though it's a four-door sedan, it's actually smaller than my two-door F32. So it in no way, shape or form replaces this car. And uh, the plan was always to bring this car back to life and then have the two. So let's just take a little walk around the car for anyone who hasn't seen it. And then uh, we'll have a little story time, tell you guys exactly what happened to the car, how I blew the motor and uh, what the plan is to fix it. It blows my mind how good a camera makes a car look because I don't know if you guys are thinking the same thing I'm thinking, but this car looks damn good on camera like this. And it's literally been sitting for a year and a half. I haven't washed it. Um, the car's just unfortunately been getting neglected. But then, look, I'll get up close. And look, the car is, is honestly, it's disgraceful. And I'm probably going to get roasted for it. This car does not deserve this. But once I revitalize it, I will absolutely put in the money to paint correct it. Give it the TLC it deserves. Oh man, look at my rotors. They're gonna need to be replaced, I'm sure. That's like a year of rust, you know, so it's probably not surface rust. And my nice wheels. Ugh. I mean, the car is held up, but you can tell it's really dirty. It's been sitting here for a while. All this bird poop is pretty recent. I need to get out here and clean this, but my car has actually been parked over there for 90% of the time that it's been sitting. And as you can tell, I purposely parked it over there because there's no trees and no birds, no poop, no falling sticks. And maybe about a month ago, I had to move it from there to here, which is 
right under some trees. And seriously, in, you know, the 15 months that it was sitting over there, it held up better than the month that it sat right here under a tree. So let that be a lesson to you guys. Avoid parking your cars under trees at all costs. <laughs> the carbon fiber is gonna have to get replaced. This is all completely sun-baked, torn to crap. The carbon tips, they're all fading. So when you get up close, you can tell just how long this car has been sitting. But then you stand back a couple feet, looks pretty good. But yeah, anyway, for anyone who might not know, this is my 2011 BMW 335i. It's the four-door E90. And it originally started off as just the sport package. That's why I don't have the M Sport bumper. And over time, I've sort of converted it. So it has the M3 style side skirts that I got painted, paint matched. You know, standard BMW hot boy mods. But then the car was actually in an accident a while back and the whole front right side of the car got obliterated and rebuilt. And I had them order me an M Sport front bumper. So the front is M Sport, the sides are M3, and the back is just standard Sport. <laughs> but I don't know, altogether I think it actually fits pretty well. But yeah, the car is uh, tastefully modified. I didn't go crazy with this car. It was uh, OEM Plus. You know? And I think these kind of wheels look really good on the E9X generation. I wouldn't put that kind of wheel on my F32. But yeah, guys, this car is actually gonna be coming back to life, which is super, super exciting. Just a couple days ago, I bought a motor, like I said. It was out of a 2011 E92 335i. The motor has 103,000 miles on it which some people might say is high, but I bought this car originally with 160,000, drove it for four years, 40,000 miles, took it to 200, and then I blew the motor, which I'll get into in a second. So this motor is like half the mileage that the car currently has. And I only paid two grand for it, and it was local. So yeah, let's hop in the car and I'll tell you guys the whole story. Man, this car is so nice. I love it. It smells different too. Even the leather smells different. It's probably a different type of leather, but call me a freak. I just like to sit in this car and like take a deep breath sometimes. <laughs> it calms me down. You can see I've got all my bits, my carbon fiber front lip that I had to remove when I got the car towed originally. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to tell you the whole story of what happened to my car in case you don't know and kind of explain where it's going to go from here because it's a lot of really exciting stuff that's going to be happening. A year and a half ago, my car just hit 200,000 miles and I changed the oil like I always do. I've always changed the oil in my cars. And this was before I started utilizing FCP Euro for their lifetime warranty so i would actually go to my local bmw dealership which we have friends there and you know they treat us right and i enjoy going there and i always went there the thing is i always put 5w30 in my 335 and i've always done that and the previous owner always did that and from what i understand it's very important that if a car took a certain viscosity of oil it should always stay on that type of oil. Um, so this time around, I went to buy my oil. And the guy I bought it from told me that they were changing all of their BMWs to take 0W30. So he recommended I do the same. He said, oh, we're changing all of our cars over to 0W30. You should do the same. And me being kind of naive at the time, I said, okay, you know, you're, you're the BMW guy. You, you, probably, you guys probably know what's best. Hindsight's 2020. <laughs> so yeah, I went home and I changed my oil with 0W30. And it's funny, I actually made a YouTube video of it. And you can you can scroll back and watch the video if you want. Because actually in the video, I mentioned that I got 0W30. I go, hmm, this is kind of weird. It's 0W30, but you know, oh well. <laughs> I unfortunately learned a valuable lesson because um, a couple days later, I was down in Mexico racing somebody and I blew the motor. I starved the motor of oil 
and I guess caused too much friction, which caused me to spin a bearing. And the motor was done after that. It just shut off. You know, I was in the middle of doing a pull and the motor just shut off. I didn't even hear anything. There was no bang, no noise. I was just looking at my, you know, gauge cluster and I saw the RPM drop to zero and I could tell that the motor shut off. So I pulled over and basically tried to restart the car and that was it. It never restarted after that. I took it to the shop and we tore it down, tried to crank the motor by hand and it was seized so tight you could not crank it by hand no matter how hard you pulled or no matter how long of a breaker bar you had it's just completely seized up done and then we proceeded to you know drain the oil and break down the oil filter and there was metal everywhere so the motor is totally done and at that point the most viable option is to get a new motor Fast forward a year and a half, I get a call from a friend. Well, rather, he hit me up on Instagram, and he works at a local Euro car dealership. Um, they're called Auto Works, and you'll probably see them in a future video when I go to pick up the motor. This friend hits me up, and he says, Yo, are you still looking for an N55 motor? Because we have one, but you have like two hours to decide. <laughs> So what happened was they ordered a N52 motor for 328i, I guess a customer car or a motor that they're replacing. Anyway, they sent them the wrong motor. They sent them a 2011 N55 motor with 100,000 miles on it. And rather than returning this motor and exchanging it, they said they were willing to sell it to me instead. Um, the only problem was this was about noon on like a Wednesday and they were gonna make the exchange and get the right motor and do the swap within a couple of hours, like two, 3 p.m. So I literally had a couple hours to make this decision, go to the bank, get the cash and go hand the money over. And I'm a guy who likes to digest things and I definitely don't like to do things that are impulsive. So this is like a big purchase and something that's feels impulsive because I don't have enough time to digest it and really make a decision. So I basically made a bunch of phone calls and, you know, I had the money. I just had to make sure the motor was good, make sure that it was the right one for my car, set up how I'm going to transport it. And, you know, once I buy this motor, we're pretty much starting the process. So pretty much long story short, I pulled the money out of my bank. He was selling it for 2000 and I ran up there and I spent about an hour looking at the motor, checking it over. You know, the guys up there at Auto Works are super um, trustworthy and, you know, they were genuine about it. And he said, take all the time you want. You can take off the valve cover. You can do whatever you want. Um, so I spent about an hour looking at the motor. It seemed clean. I'll uh, put in pictures right now, actually. I took pictures of it. We opened up the oil filter and I checked that, totally clean. We put a socket on the uh, on the crank and I cranked it by hand and it seemed, you know, it turned over just fine, good compression. The website that they originally bought the motor from isn't gonna sell a motor with bad compression. So it was originally advertised with good compression. Fully built long block motor, N55, comes with the turbo and all that good stuff. So now I have about two weeks to move the motor to the shop where I'm going to do the swap. And my buddy Steve that you've seen on the channel a couple times is a machine shop worker and he works with motors a lot. And, uh, you know, that's his that's his main profession. Um, so I'm going to bring him the new motor. I'm going to bring him the 335 and they're going to pull the old motor. And then they're going to spend, you know, a month or however long it takes to you know, swap parts over and replace parts and basically make the, the new motor as good as it can be. And then we'll drop the new motor in the 335. The motor comes with a 60 day warranty. So the current plan is to get it in a position where we can start it and make sure that the motor is good to go um, before the warranty expires, just in case, you know, there's no real reason to believe that it's going to have a problem, but you never know. So yeah, guys, super exciting news, and I'm going to make sure that I bring you all along for the whole process, and I'm going to try and get Steve to video as much as he can 
while he's rebuilding the motor and, you know, swapping over parts and, you know, doing all the dirty work. <laughs> that is over my head. I definitely am a YouTube DIY mechanic. And when it comes to stuff like that, I don't trust myself to work on anything. So I leave it to the professionals and I'll let Steve work on it. And I'm just looking forward to a day when I can bring both my cars to a car show and feel like a baller because I have two BMWs that I'm bringing. <laughs> and they're not even that bad looking. So if you like the channel guys, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. I plan on doing a lot more videos more frequently and getting back to the grind. Um, took a little bit of a break there, but now that the 335 is coming back, I'm gonna have tons of content for you guys on the E9X. And then I also have parked up there, you know, my 2017 440i F32. So I'm gonna have the E generation content and the F generation. Hopefully the videos will be flowing in pretty fast. So anyway, guys, thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.